so hi and welcome to one of the most important days of my life I am moving to my new new apartment and I'm so so glad I'm excited. I am at my parents place today and I have just packed everything. I'm going to drop by at another place and grab a few things and then we are going to go. I'm so excited to give you like um an, an unofficial tour of the new place through this vlog and also show you the ins and outs of moving moving out and then moving in. I believe there's a lot of things uh that people don't talk about and the first one being our parents keep a lot of stuff on you know these places uh, or above the almiras if you are indian especially and for the longest time i told my parents that oh my god that's such a waste of space it doesn't look good and why do you even keep those because these things aren't used half the time i just found a rice cooker in that so half of the times if i need anything instead of you know cringing at how costly it is i have actually just searched the my parents stock and i probably found something for example i just found a huge rice cooker and i'm taking that for my place thank you um so that is something that is really really cool uh here's my bag and okay yeah here is my bag and uh, i have packed mainly clothes today and some bed sheets and all of that and yes i'm going to show you more things as we go i hope that you have fun with this vlog i hope that i don't get too stressed out today and yes it's going to be a super exciting day All right so we are packing everything from our second place and like the room is a mess right now uh this is Shisha Shisha say hi hi she is a team member she's helping me out this is Jay he's helping me out and uh today we are going to probably take everything left so there's a pack of uh, plates and bowls which is super important we definitely need a mop because moving is a dirty work but overall oh my books all my books are right here my books are right here and this obviously more books but i can only take a few for now so yes i hope that we can take everything intact till the car because yeah let's do it all right so we have reached my new apartment they are still moving stuff in and they've been really helpful and this is the very first view of the outside i don't know if everything is visible properly but i give myself the scare of my life i accidentally opened another apartment on the floor thinking it's mine and a dog came out suddenly and it was amazing but i got so freaked that what's a dog doing in my apartment and then i realized that i had opened the door the wrong apartment what a day to embarrass myself in front of neighbors but yeah that happened I'm going to give you a tour soon but for now they are just moving all the luggage in. <laughs> all right, this is all the luggage. Like it's really not a lot but the furniture is going to come later. And uh, this is my tripod and ring light because I cannot live without this. Do you guys like the apartment? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. did the primary you know moving everything in and all of us are very thirsty for coffee so we are going to go downstairs to the cafe in the locality so that we can have some good coffee shisha why do you need coffee to like have energy it's like it's like blood <laughs> yeah my blood says coffee <laughs> that's why my name dog's name is coffee, coffee. <laughs> we're so hungry that we ended up having food without even clicking pictures of it shisha are you full now yeah <laughs> and the plates are just there like at this point there's no one in the cafe so it's like very peaceful the cafe is right by the pool and i don't know if okay okay let me show the cafe is right by the pool so it's beautiful and yeah let's go and get to wifi now Okay so Prerna came late and she is entering for the first time Prerna go inside I can't wait to see your reaction by the way It's open Okay how what do you think I've seen here <laughs> Okay I have no issues I have no issues please make yourself at home and by the way Prerna has been the person who has been with me like from day one of the house hunting and like finding places, finding brokers, 
finding good apartments and all of that so she has definitely been a huge part of like getting a nice place we just had coffee and now we are going to get to work and actually getting the rooms in order all right so let me give you a room tour this is the door and when you come in this is the view that you get um all my stuff is here i bought marilyn monroe i am going to unpack soon but i wanted to give you a quick tour before we do anything this house was furnished so there's a lot of stuff here that is not mine but like technically it's mine now now that i've rented it but this beautiful sofa and a coffee table and this is the balcony oh, wait let me show you the view outside this is the view outside and it's amazing it's beautiful this view is literally to die for and the dining area i'm not too fond of neither the sofa color nor the chair so probably i'm going to put some covers on it here's the kitchen there's an induction there's a microwave in here i bought some stuff here there's basin ka laddu this is some actual basin ka laddu there's actual popcorn and some cheese sticks aqua guard and there's a small place outside for washing and other work here is the covers it's a modular kitchen and i really like everything in this kitchen i'm probably going to open these later here's a small storage room and we come to the first washroom and it's the common washroom here here's the second room this is probably going to be mine and my parents maybe they will come here and they will also be staying here sometimes so that's going to be amazing and yes this is the cupboard it's a huge cupboard it's huge and this is the view from this room for security purposes i'm not sharing the name of the complex but it's definitely one of the most popular complexes in kolkata here's the study room that i'm most excited to decorate it's like completely empty except for the chair and the table and i i'm very excited to see what i can do with it there's another washroom in this room by the way which i think i am going to give to my pup and this is the last master bedroom there's a balcony attached to this a small balcony and huge windows oh my god i'm so fond of these windows it has a big bed and another washroom i think the beauty of this place is in the large windows that make the view so amazing it's the 18th floor and for the longest time i've wanted to live somewhere so high up and it's finally happening it's i don't know how i'm like holding myself together because i feel like crying i've worked really really hard to get like a good apartment because it was very hard to find something that matches my taste but also suits my budget just to give you an idea the the rent around this place for apartments like these start at around 30 35k unfurnished and 50k furnished so if you want to move to apartments in kolkata like this this is the range you should be looking at definitely on the pricier range for kolkata but worth it because it comes with so many facilities so many amenities and yes i hope you like the tour before i have done anything else um I'm excited to make this place home like I I'm so excited to call this place home and look at them they are already chilling in the balcony Oh my god you guys are chilling in the balcony Hi bye to dekh you now No no it's okay So today has been going pretty well so far and I'm very happy with the progress we're making uh my friends went out and they're going to buy some stuff for the place while i set more of this place into what it should be i just changed into my pjs i think it's super cute and yes let's go so the cupboard is the only thing that we have put in order so we were trying to hang things there but all the hangers came like kind of crashing down so i guess we'll have to get that repaired so for now we are keeping it like this she should a pretty good job at organizing clothes these are the pants these are the shirts these are clothes for my parents these are these are my parents clothes these are some extra clothes these are the clothes to wear outside so these are outside clothes inside clothes i haven't bought many clothes here like i have about what i guess so uh, so i guess i've got here about uh, five pairs of clothes for each type i believe that's going to be enough for now and i just said the We just set the bed bed in order, like 
Oh, it's been it's been a long day, but the view, the big windows and the view, like the only thing I'm thinking about is how many books I'm gonna read while I sit here at the balcony and it fills my heart with joy. It fills my heart with so much joy. Something that I want you to note for your future moving out or endeavors, please carry things for your hygiene. And uh, because moving out is very, very dirty work. And after the day, you would want to clean yourself as well as possible. So we got this Suthol. Like Bengalis have Suthol as a staple in their house. Uh, here's a face wash I have. Here is a body scrub I have. And it's amazing, especially if you have body acne. This is amazing for it. Uh, a Dove body wash and here's a package of things I use. Basically, uh, whenever you shop on Face Shop, you get a oops. Whenever you shop on Face Shop, you get a lot of freebies, and these bags are one of them. So they are very very good. It comes with the combos, and uh, these are some leaves that I had in my previous place. I'm pretty sure you've seen it, and uh, Chicha kind of put it up there. There's no major furnitures that we have bought yet. We're gonna bring them next week. But overall, it's very relaxing uh, to sit here. So I believe so far the vlog is feeling like perfect, but it is not. So I want to talk about three types of huge stresses that you're going to have if you are trying to move out, be it in your late teens, early 20s, or I guess at any age that not a lot of people talk about. So of course, there's a lot of joy in moving to a new place and getting acquainted with all the new things in life, especially when the change is so huge. So of course, there's a lot of fun in this whole process, but there's a lot of stress as well. The first one being the stress of the fact that you're going to be alone and you have to take care of all the expenses alone, which amounts to a lot, right? Um, the first time I realized how much a mattress costs, I, I was blown away. The first time I went out shopping for groceries, I realized that life is expensive as fuck. So start budgeting as soon as possible for and preparing yourself mentally for the fact that you're going to be alone and you have to take care of all the expenses alone as long as you can or as long as you want to because not everyone has the privilege of getting their bills paid by their parents. Second type of stress that you're going to have is professional stress, especially during moving out. I believe you are earning in some way, which means that you have to keep working, but at the same time, looking for houses, finding the right place and basically doing a lot of back and forths with stuff takes a takes a lot of time energy and uh, efforts away from you and if you're not able to invest that properly into your work that might have some bad effect on your work thankfully at this point i have a really amazing team which is taking care of stuff for me but uh, not everyone has that privilege so that's there you need a lot of support from those who work with you thirdly you will need a lot of support from your loved ones because it's it's not a joke uh fourth there's a lot of financial stress. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the first time I heard the rent of this place, I, I was like, that's a very good salary. But thinking of the opportunities I'll get here, thinking of how much this place makes me want to like shoot, the, thinking of how much at peace I would be somewhere like this, I really, really thought that it was a no-brainer. But preparing financially for this was important. So make sure that you've saved up enough. So for me, at this point, I have 20 years of rent for this place saved up so that um, it's never gonna be a worry for me any month, even if anything goes wrong. But for you, it might be just being able to make sure that at least for two years, you'll be able to pay the rent for this place or the EMI for this place without any uh, stress. By the way, I got this place on rent. I am not buying right now. I don't think it's a very good decision for me to buy a place especially in 2021. Uh, so uh, this is rented. Uh, rented apartments do give you a lot of freedom. I know that a lot of people say that, oh, you should buy a place if you're paying so much in rent, but you don't get the freedom that you need with um, a bought place. And secondly, I'm so young. I have no idea where I'll be. And buying a place means that you're gonna somehow get stuck there. So I didn't want that for myself. So these are some things you should definitely keep in mind when you decide to move out on your own, which I believe that it's going to be really soon if you're watching this video. So many of you are going to ask me which books did you take with you. So uh, let me give you a quick tour of the books that I got or got here. These were from my old apartment. A book of Rumi's poetry, Japanese folk tales, a Bengali book by Chitra Bhattacharya. It's a love story collection. It's nice. Um, non-fiction on coaching. 
great houses of Kolkata and this hub got a little destroyed in transit so I'm really upset about that but it's a beautiful book two diaries that are not in the best condition but these are important diaries all the things I've achieved are here so same for these three diaries as well so yes guys I do carry like a lot of diaries wherever I go and some more books let's put this stack aside Mukhasa's short stories Shwetab's work in this book ever my favorite short story collection ever looks at Although I wonder how would I feel about this now because I read it when I was very young, like I was in my teens, and I loved it back then. But I don't know, I think I've changed as a person. Uh, short story collection and seeing like a feminist. This is one of my favorite books on feminism. Google's short stories. Favorite artists, forgotten women. Favorite artists, forgotten writers. Forgotten women, the writers, sorry. Um, another non fiction book called One Invisible Code. Good night stories for rebel girls and yet yeah, another diary. I need to sort these things out. This diary is from my dad, like this was from some company we work with, I guess. And yes, I'll keep these here. And here's my drawer. I'm only using one. It has a sleeping mask, it's an inhaler. I don't know if you know, but I need an inhaler. Um, some rubber bands for my hair. A nice bracelet, eye mask, and washi tapes and post-its in case I need. I forgot to get a pen. Like I, I just realized uh, the most absurd thing. I forgot to get a pen. <laughs> That's so bad. Anyway, I'll give you a small kitchen tour. Now I've not really kept everything properly yet, but it is still something, I guess. So we have some stuff here and key. Because even if I can't make anything, I can just take some ghee, put it on the induction and the induction and the pan, and you know, kind of make some dosa, uh, some soup for emergencies. Here is some coffee because yes, I cannot live without coffee. Here is the machine for the coffee, and uh, here's chai, some parsley leaves. Uh, my friends have gone outside to get some. No, that is basically salt. All right, and uh, we have these cups, these pretty cups, and yeah, these are the primary things I have kind of unloaded. Oh, here is the cooker. I need to learn how to use it, but this is the one that I got from my dad that I told about earlier. And this is parts of the cooker. Here are some storage cans for rice and my dog's food, and uh, here are some sponge wipes in case I need them. Uh, I've only got like three utensils at this point. I'm probably gonna buy more. Just that it made more sense to buy them a little bit later. And uh, Scotch Bright because of course you need it. And yes, uh, where is. Oh, we have this whole set of spoons and forks that I really love. And I got this at my last apartment and it was definitely one of the best investments ever. Some Maggie in case I need to make something really quick. Again, more dosa mix. Um, some popcorn. Some you know ready to eat snacks in case someone is hungry. And yes, those are the primary things that I was very very concerned about. Let's probably relax at the balcony. Just have a look at the beautiful view. Just the beautiful view. Okay, for as long as we are seeing screen. We Did just came back from the shopping and what happened? We got one bucket for free and two pillows for free! Wow, amazing! Wow. And also some containers. Oh Wait, god. For free. That's amazing. These are free? Yeah, yeah. they're free. Where did you go to shop? Spencer! Oh, wow, amazing! Alright, should I so, open? Yes, yes, please open. So our food just came. This is our lunch and this is we should have the tender chicken music. pizza and some garlic bread and chess chicken. What is this? Chicken wings, I guess. Have a seat. Thank you. Kiruna, are you gonna have the pizza or the sides? All more? of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the food came a little late and I kept annoying all of them saying that when the food's coming so everyone's waiting for me to eat but here I am making a vlog. <laughs> so that's the irony of the whole situation. 
guys we are having a great day and a great moving experience today is my second day and i finally bought all my devices here and i recently faced an issue that both of these bedrooms are not getting connected to the wifi so i have to call someone for tomorrow but for now i am going to have some biryani and chill while watching netflix little things hello so i hope that you are enjoying the home tour or the home moving in vlog so far but it just got better cuz coffee came to my place finally what are you doing babe <laughs> she is very stressed i believe so we've got everything that she needs everything from our old place in her room but she just came to this room with me uh -huh. i'm probably going to have this as my study room another thing that's happened is that Uh, the Wi-Fi doesn't connect to both the bedrooms. Now I don't know if I should get a better Wi-Fi and just solve this problem, or should I just let it be that way, like two bedrooms with no internet, so that I can, you know, do things without like the tech stuff, like go back to the old times and just enjoy myself. I think that's such a nice thing to happen. And yeah, there she is inspecting my bag and everything. Hopefully, she's gonna be as trained here. as she was at my previous place one of the major reasons why i really wanted this place was because this is very pet friendly and i believe this is a beautiful beautiful uh, lanes and there's parks and everything that she can walk in so it's definitely a added bonus considering you know i want to give the whole world to her and yeah thank you so much for watching this vlog so far this room is echoing a lot because there's very little furniture but uh, Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I will make a proper room tour soon. And till then, bye.